So I'm Dr. Harry Anderson. I'm an associate professor at Southampton Law School. My research overall focuses on criminal justice. Um, I'm a lawyer by initial training, but my work primarily draws on social theory, political science, and, and related disciplines to try and understand primarily the policymaking and political dynamics that affect criminal justice. In terms of particular projects that I've been engaged in in recent years, I've um, done a number of studies trying to understand recent uh, penal politics in England and Wales, so dynamics over recent years. I've also conducted research with and writing about families affected by uh, indeterminate sentences, so affected by their, their relative serving an indeterminate sentence. And at the moment, I'm part of a team that's conducting an ESRC project, which is studying the probation reforms which are currently ongoing, which is the unifi unification of the service following a period of privatisation and marketisation. As an academic, I, th I think it's important to, it, to engage with policymakers, especially given the nature of my work, which is studying a really, a really febrile and contested policy area such as criminal justice. So increasingly over recent years, I've engaged with policymakers, including um, various MPs in the House of Commons, particularly in relation to the Justice Committee, the Select Committee of the House of Commons. I've also worked with reform groups like the, the Prison Reform Trust. I've also um, engaged on particular projects with HM Prison and Probation Service and also the Ministry of Justice more generally. And in particular, I've, I've worked quite closely with the Parole Board for England and Wales. In terms of my experiences of that, I think one uh, quite challenging shift in some ways initially was that I was moving from being someone who actually had quite a lot of experience of conducting research on or about those those types of policymakers to trying to develop a different kind of relationship which was more more collaborative and more uh, a different relationship in terms of trying to work together with them on particular measures. So that was that was something that took a little bit of time to um, to, to get my head around and, and find a, a, a nice dynamic with that. So one particular project that illustrates this quite well is that I initially conducted research with uh, families affected by a particularly controversial and largely discredited indeterminate sentence that was causing significant problems for the system as a whole. But the issues faced by families hadn't really been recognised, so I collaborated with the Prison Reform Trust on a, on a jointly funded project. And then working with them, that led to uh, engaging with HM Prison and Probation Service, with the Parole Board for England and Wales, and others, including the Justice Committee, to try and both have those issues identified and to go somewhere, at least, in terms of trying to address them in terms of um, policy changes, increased information for people affected by this particular sentence, and also trying to inform the training that was being provided to staff within the system. For me, public policy Southampton have been have been really helpful for me in in what's been, I suppose, a journey of, of many years now of, of trying to engage with policymakers, and really that's in a in a number of ways. So part of that is helping me to understand what my offer is, if you like, to policymakers, understand what I'm what I can provide, what they might want from me, and equally to an extent the the limits of that, both in terms of what I might feel like I want to do, but also um, areas that are maybe more scholarly and, and, and not of so much interest to them. On the practical side, uh, elements like stakeholder analysis and understanding the kind of um, the kind of field in which I'd be operating has been really helpful. I've also found at various times, and especially in the early days, having a distinctive advocate, if you like, or almost a sort of agent, was really helpful that having someone else in the room, if you like, to help me have those conversations and to work through that relationship and, and a slightly changing relationship where I'm not having a relationship of, of researching some of these people, but actually trying to work with them was incredibly, incredibly helpful. So I think my advice to other academics who, who may be thinking about engaging more with, with policy makers is I, I think partly be clear on your, your own values, on what you're actually um, trying, to, trying to achieve, or, or maybe just more generally, uh, what you think is important to you. And that can be really helpful in terms of thinking about organizations that maybe align with those values, who would be interested to collaborate with you. But it also might help you to understand the kind of debates or issues that you're trying to inform. And of course, that often means engaging with people who don't share your values or are, are yet to be convinced by your particular 
um, arguments. I think that can also finally help to to put some boundaries around maybe what you what you want to do, which is again very helpful because you can be clear on what you do want to do and what you want to achieve. I think talking about uh, achievements or tra- talking about achieving things, I think it is important, or it's become increasingly clear to me that it's important to see it as a long term. Um, set of activities that it's it's not entirely impossible but it's quite unusual for it to be uh, a case of of acting or conducting a piece of research acting and seeing dramatic change on the basis of that in my experience it's much more about building relationships uh, being available to people when they might might need you and in that way you're open to potential opportunities that arise and as I say initially if you're clear on your on your values and what you're in an overarching sense trying to achieve then uh, hopefully all of that all of that occasionally comes comes together to at least uh, at least um, see it see a little bit of beneficial change based on your your research and expertise mm-hmm.